In this video I'm going to show you the Answer to 2000 top site uh, script which is a PHP script which you can download and install on your website. You get this uh, script from scriptrocket.com which also offers a number of, number of other PHP scripts for webmasters. Um, basically what a top site is, is um, a list of websites which are exchanging traffic. Every time um, a, a webmaster wants more traffic he can join your top site. You can choose any theme for your top site. So for example you could make the top 50 sites about Australia or the top 25 music sites or any topic at all. Uh, and webmasters who fit your theme can then join. Uh, or you could of course make a general one which anybody can join as well. Um, and uh, so when they join they get to add their listing to the site. And what happens is when they link to the site from uh, their site to your site, your top site, uh, they get one uh, vote or one click and the sites that get more um, votes tend to be ranked higher in the top site list um, and in return uh, for the ranking on the top site list they tend to get clicks back from the top site list and um, get their own traffic back in return. So there's an incentive there for people to link to you as prominently as possible so they get the most benefit back. So this is what a top site looks like. Now one nice feature of this particular one is um, there is this option of having the site of the moment where everybody gets their sort of moment in the sun um, uh, which you can use to, to set different criteria for how it's determined but it might be for example the most recent site which has sent a visitor to the top site becomes the site of the moment. Uh, but you could um, change the rules for that. There's several different options. Uh, and then you have the top sites based on the number of different votes and you can set here um, again different rules for how they're ordered uh, every site has a title and a description then links to that site you can say whether the windows uh, each link is open in a new window or not uh, and you can say that uh, allow sites to include their banners on your top site and you can, if you want to you can say only the top three or top four or top ten have banners and the rest don't or you could say all of them have um, and here, here you see the number of votes that they've sent, the number of users they've sent to the top site, and here you see the number of users they've got back. So again, you can see there's a benefit um, to um, to driving traffic to the top site. There are exceptions, but on the on the whole, the sites that send, tend the most um, visitors get the best listing and tend to get the highest number of uh, visitors back. Um, so it's a good way of exchanging traffic. Now, um, one other thing I will just um, mention as well is when people send visitors, obviously you don't want people clicking on their own link loads and loads of times. So there's an anti-cheating cheating mechanism built into the software. And in fact, what you can also do is have a page that when they click through, before arriving on the top site, they're shown a, a, a gateway page that the user must click through, which is an extra layer of security. And that's an optional feature. You can turn that on or off. Um, so... Um, it basically is quite secure against people trying to game the system. The other thing that's worth mentioning is the number of votes here. Uh, every site um, will reset back to zero after a certain amount of time. By default, 24 hours, but not necessarily at the same time for every site in the list. So for this, this one might reset at 1 a.m. and this one might reset at noon or, or whatever. Uh, so again, there's an incentive to be... Um, uh, to, for people to keep sending you traffic rather than just send traffic once and then get a good listing and forget about it. Um, because if they um, stop sending you traffic, eventually their votes will reset, they'll fall to the bottom of the list and they'll stop getting traffic back. Or, uh, and you can also set a rule that if they've got zero votes, they're not actually displayed until they've sent at least one vote in or one vote in the last 24 hours. Uh, okay, when somebody sees your top site, they can um, add their site if they think they're applicable. And so uh, they would click this uh, add site link to add their own site and then they get a form here. Uh, there's a message here telling them what they have to, what kind of sites you're accepting. You can change that message to any text you like. You can put an advert there as well if you want. Anything you want, you can completely customise that. And then there's a form which they can fill out to uh, add their site to the top site. So um, let's uh, try adding one for example. I've got a site called um, Fun for Birthdays and I'll enter my site. My site name, fun for birthdays, uh, site about birthdays, I'll just enter um, what's my uh, banner URL, the image on my website, uh, let's just say I make, I'll deliberately make a mistake there, I forgot to enter the full URL with um, uh, the file name on the end, there's my main URL, 
and let's say if I make another mistake here with my email address not being right, I'm meant to type John uh, uh, let's say at ANS2000, but I forgot to type the at ANS2000. So I'll click OK and see what happens here. So I get some prompts here. I have to enter the name of a banner image here. So let's put in the correct one just to get rid of that prompt. Save as banner. Okay, that might be my URL of my banner image. Um, I'm going to click OK. It'll still tell me I need to enter a valid email address. So it says also at ANS2000, which is my email address. And click OK. Now I've added myself to the top site. And what happens is it, the software will email me um, a password and to my email address so that I can log in and manage my listing. And it also immediately shows me the link. link. So my voting link that I should play, place on my own site is here. And here's a HTML code that I could use. Click here to vote for me. And here's uh, what a banner image could look like. In the configuration software, you can put in up to 10 different banners. With, it can all be your own designs. And uh, it would give you the code or give the user the code for their listings and their person can then either return to the top site or manage their listings so if they click manage their listings um, they would uh, they get their login screen they also get the link to the manage the listing screens in their email so let's go here to manage the listings uh, this is what the page would look like now I'm um, fun for birthdays I didn't um, I have the software currently set up that the site needs to be uh, approved before it's listed. I'm going to have to look up what the password was emailed to me. So I'll use one of the other ones that I've previously set up. Affiliate Cavern ABC. Okay. Now here you get a welcome message. Uh, again, you can customise that. It's a good place actually to put affiliate adverts ad aimed at webmasters. Uh, and we provide you with some default ones here. They're all ClickBank products um, that you can earn commissions from. Uh, because if you, you might have 50 or 100 webmasters joining your top site, or maps even more if you've got more than one top site, um, and they're all interested in things to enhance their websites, get more traffic, things like that. So it's a good place to advertise products to webmasters and earn some uh, extra money on the side. Although you don't have to do that, you could take it off completely the welcome message, or you could put some text about the top site or whatever topic you want to there. Um, okay, and then I get a menu here, view the, site, view the welcome message which we've seen edit your listing details so I can change the details of my site here uh, and it, uh, I could change the listing here and it, well, it tells me here that because the software has been configured that every site submitted to the so site uh, has a manual review before being listed um, if I change my details it will um, the, my list my site will disappear from top site until I've been reviewed again so I won't uh, do that one right now because I don't want to destroy my listing I can also change my password um, the normal thing, you enter your old password, enter the new password twice, and it will then convert. View the stats. So here I can see um, the different um, information about my site. Since I started, I've sent in 408 clicks to the top site. I've received 294 clicks back. At the moment, I've got 23 votes sent in. I've got 19 back. Three days since I was added. I've, on average, I've sent in 136 clicks per day. And on average, I've got 98 clicks back per day. So you get statistical information. Voting instructions, which is um, the link here, um, which I talked about earlier, which you get when you first add your site to the top site. Um, and the last one uh, is to log out. Now, um, every member of the top sites manage their own listing. But the person who owns the top site man can manage all the listings with the top site administration. So you have a different screen for that. This is the person who actually owns it, the person who buys the script, installs it on the website. And um, here what happens is, again, they have a password to log in as the administrator. Um, they get the ne any news from our company at the bottom of the screen, and they can log in here. So they enter the password, and I'll click OK. Uh, again, it tells me I'm using the latest version of the script. It would tell me if I was using an old version if I need to upgrade. Um, and they have my administration options. First option is create a um, database tables. Um, so uh, you do that once when you first install the script and it creates a MySQL database that the software uses. Then they have options to view all the listings, all the listings, approved listings, pending listings. So if I go into pending listings, for example, you'll see the site that's been uh, added here. I made a mistake entering the banner there. and actually an image there, for example, uh, with the password. If I approved of the details, I could say set it to approved. Uh, I'll talk about these other options in a bit more detail when I view all listings. Um, and again, I've got an option here for uh, all listings uh, and pending listings and so on. So 
So let's try and view, uh, view all site listings here. Yeah? Okay, you can see here if I scroll down, I've got lots and different, lots of different listings there. Next to every one, I get options for managing that listing. Um, I get view details, which allow me to see um, who who's clicked up through to that site. Um, can change the status to pending or back to approved. It's so currently approved this one. Um, if it said pending is the current status, I can change it to it would say it's approved. Locked and unlocked is quite an interesting one. Um, it allows. Um, uh, you to, as the administrator, say, well, he's entered his details uh, and I don't want him to ever to change them, and so I'll lock it, which means that the site is listing is still active, but it can't be altered by the per by the member. Um, edit site listing. As the administrator, I can uh, change any of the details of the sites. So, for example, I change the URL. If he's made a typo, I could fix it, that kind of thing. Uh, let's go back to view all uh, listings. It'll click um, reset the current vote so I could if he's got um, he's currently got 23 and 19 23 votes in 19 votes out I could reset that to zero as I say it normally would be configured to automatically reset after a certain amount of time but um, you can do that for a particular listing uh, you want and you can delete listings as well um, let's have a look at the um, view details screen for an individual listing now so this is the details of a listing. The first thing that you will see here is um, it will give me a list of IP addresses of all the people who have clicked links within the recent um, time period. I think my internet connection is a bit slow here at the moment. Okay. So here you'll see here uh, there's a vote in, a vote out. The yellow ones are the votes out. Um, the white ones are the votes in. The red ones are when somebody's clicked more than once. If you saw a big stroke of red ones, it would mean somebody's deliberately trying to cheat. Um, and uh, you've got the IP address of the user here um, and the date and the time. And you've got that information. If I scroll down at the bottom, you'll see the details of the listing. Um, so that's um, that's what you see here. I, mean, I could copy and paste that user information if I wanted to uh, somehow. Okay, uh, I can also view the IP logs of uh, for all the recent uh, clicks, which I'll do here. Here you see, the, for example, the cover factory um, has got some duplicates there. Somebody has voted in for two different sites for whatever reason. Somehow that's happened. They've, gone, they've maybe wandered through both sites and clicked through it. Again, if I saw lots of red ones, it might be an indication that somebody's up to no good. Um, lots of red ones there. That is a bit suspicious. There's something funny going on there. Uh, okay, uh, what else have we got here? I can reset the votes for all sites in there. Um, uh, I can clear the IP logs and I can log out. So that's basically it. The top site script is um, uh, a good way of exchanging traffic um, and um, building traffic to your website, working with other webmasters, um, and of course, uh, once you've got it up, the traffic is free traffic. Um, and you can set up lots of different top, top sites on different topics or put one on each of your websites or whatever suits you. So that's it. If you go to scriptrocket.com, you can find out a lot more, see some screenshots, see a lot more details. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go to scriptrocket.com, check it out. Uh, thank you very much.